When you're given a table of values or a set of points to work with, the easiest way to determine if a relation is a function is just to see if any of the x values are paired with different y values. As long as all the x values are paired with unique y values, the relation is a function. But if there's any x values that are duplicated, and you'll see in this first one that the 3 here and the 3 here is obviously a duplicate, if those duplicate values have different y's that they're associated with, here we have a 4, and here we have a 5, then the relation cannot be a function. It can only be a function if each x value has one and only one associated y value. So here our a is not a function. b, we're going to look through, we see we have a negative 3, a negative 5, a negative 1, a 7, and a 9. Those are all different x values, so it doesn't matter what the y values are, this is a function. So of the two, only b qualifies as a function. When you're actually given a graph, finding out whether or not it's a graph of a function is actually very, very easy. All you have to do is test the graph with the vertical line test. If you can draw lines anywhere along the graph, vertical lines, without ever crossing more than one point, then it qualifies as a function. If you ever draw a vertical line and it connects with more than one point, then it's not a function. So in our first example here, our first graph up here on top, you can see that the graph of a circle is not a function because there are all kinds of places where we can draw vertical lines and not get a single point. In both of these cases here, you see that we end up with two points right here and right here, or right here and right here. So this cannot be a function. In our other graph, the one on the bottom, this is a parabola. A parabola is a graph of a function, and you can see that we can draw a vertical line anywhere we like, and no matter where we draw it, we're only going to hit a single point. Anywhere along here, none of these lines hit more than one point. They all only connect with the graph at one specific spot. So this graph of a parabola is a graph of a function.